A Pasco County neighborhood is at the center of a crime scene after a home invasion turned deadly today. One of the suspects was shot and killed. Two others are in custody. This happened on Hickory Hill Drive, just north of Port Ritchie in Pasco County. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal has been following this investigation throughout the day for us. Good evening. Detectives, they could be out here well into the morning, and I spoke with one deputy who says that there could be other locations that they're investigating that could potentially be related to this case. Meanwhile, I spoke with several neighbors today. They say they have never experienced something like this and they are changing their nightly routine because of it. A Pasco County community shaken after home invasion turns deadly. The sheriff's office says three suspects tried to break into a house on Hickory Hill Drive, but when they entered the home, there was someone inside with a gun aiming directly at the suspects, then firing and striking two of them. One of the suspects shot and killed on the scene, the other suspect taking off and running to the hospital. And tonight, the third suspect is also in custody. I heard several guns shots. Ed Frisbee knows the neighborhood well. He moved to Hickory Hill Drive 37 years ago. I saw two individuals uh, dressed entirely in black, black slacks, black shoes, black shirt, long sleeves, and black hoods uh, run like crazy, like a bat out of hell. This surveillance video capturing deputies arriving on the scene and blocking off the street with police tape. But it was the sound of sirens that caught Marilyn Fuller's attention. When we moved in, it was a nice, quiet neighborhood for retirees. And, you know, what in the world are people doing a home invasion? This is not a rich neighborhood. Why, why are they trying to invade somebody's house? Tonight, many neighbors say their nightly routine will be different. I'm seriously considering uh, keeping one of my firearms out and accessible and loaded, ready, ready for the next time. And hopefully this never happens again here in this community. Meanwhile, we are waiting for the Pasco County Sheriff's Office to release the names of the suspects involved in this case. They say the person who was inside the home at the time of the home invasion is okay. Reporting from Pasco County, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.